everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I want to tell you what happened yesterday. I was I was in my comments and I answer every single my every single one of my comments every single day and when I opened up the comments section all this floods in and it says comments and mentions. Mentions, yeah. I think it said. And it's something new that YouTube is doing. And I had comments that were way back from two 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 years ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so what I did is I if you find a comment that was from two years ago, one year ago, and maybe even three I don't even know how long I've been doing I this. Don't know how long. But anyways, if you find a comment and it all it has is my hearts and my name, it's because I was going through trying to get rid of them all. <laughs> because I read every one of them, but it was like, wow, I don't even remember what this video was about. And then I had to watch a video to find out what they were talking about because it's been two years. My goodness, that was a long time. But anyway, so if you notice anything like that in yours, don't be surprised. And I also looked in the withheld section. I do that all the time. And there was actually a few in there. Which I was surprised to find, and they were old also. Very old. Very old comments. But that's what I found yesterday. Now, I also wanted to tell you that yesterday when I showed George's... Hi, George. Hi. <laughs> bottle, I had mentioned that I tell the kids don't touch. And a lot of you said, you know, when you tell kids don't touch, they want to touch it all the more. Well, the secret to that is, I have a secret... We will tell you the secret to that. What you do is you show them the bottle or show them the item and then they hold it. They look it over. Say like I handed you this pen and you look it over and say, oh, that's a pretty nice pen. You'd feel it and you'd know what it feels like. But you're right there with your hand, you know, to make sure that they're not going to go crazy with it and throw it somewhere or drop it or something. They look it over, and then you take it back, and when they're all done, they've they've seen it, done it, and they've moved on. So they've kind of forgotten. They're not as interested in touching it. And that actually brought something to mind. Why do the kids put beans in their ear song? I don't know if you've ever heard it, but... Why do the kids put beans in their ears? You know they can't hear with beans in their ears. But then again, the reason appears. They did it because you said no. Your daughter brings a young man home, says, do you like him, Pop? <laughs> you say that he's a fool, and then you've got a son-in-law. You've got a son-in-law. Oh, dog's got to bark, and mule's got to bray. Here I go. <laughs> Teachers must teach, and preachers must pray. Children, you see, must have their own way. The minute that you say no. Okay, that was a song. Um, that I came up in my head when all the comments. Oh, I've got a little video I want to put in. <laughs> I have forgotten what I yeah. what I really wanted to say. This this video is kind of all over the place. We get a little singing that's not very good, but you get a little song along with. But I'm going to put the video in right here. I came out to give scratch to the chickens, and I have a feeling Dorothy's in here. Oh yes, there's Dorothy. See, she still wants to be broody. This is Dorothy. Gloria was asking which one was Dorothy. Well, let me let me get Dorothy out and you can see her maybe better. Come here, baby. Oh. This is Dorothy. Oops, this is Dorothy. She's, oh, she's a sweetheart of a hen. Uh, let me put this on. Hold on. She is the only, she's the only hen that I can carry like this besides Mr. Brown. Okay, Dorothy, you gotta get down. Down, good girl. That's Dorothy. We'll get Dorothy a snack. Here, Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy, whoa, come here. No, I want Dorothy, not you. Dorothy, here you go. Here you go, Dorothy. Here you go. 
There she goes. And that's Dorothy. And they're all looking at you, Dorothy. I'm sorry. And off she goes. You want it? Here. You girls can have it. There's silver. And those are some of my buffs. And, they're all, and there's Brownie, the one that's kind of mean. She's rather mean. We'll go get those eggs. I'm glad she's out of the nest for a little. Oh, this, and Mr. Brown. This is, and there's the one that looks like Mr. Brown. <laughs> she comes through there every day. Okay. Mr. Brown. Yes, hello, sweet baby. Whoa, where are you going? beautiful day out today. The sun is shining. Yes, hello. Hi. We'll say hi to Emma. Hello, Emma. You've been sitting there like a good girl. You did eat some, a little bit. Not much. How are you doing, girl? You've been sitting on your eggs like a good girl. You're not real pale. That's good to see. So you must be eating. I'm going to check her food. Mm, she's eating just a little bit. She drank some, maybe. It is so sad to say I had to put Dorothy back in jail. Oh, I know, Dorothy. I really don't like you in there, but that's where I had to put you. I had to put you back in the chicken jail. You're such a good little hen. It's a, it's a shame. She came from Jessica's. And that's how she got the name Dorothy. Because she kept returning home. She always looks like she spilled her food all over the front of her. You need a bib there, little Dorothy. Yes, that's what it looks like. But I know you don't need a bib. It's just your coloring. The poor little Dorothy. Did you notice the rustiness in the front of the, her chest? That's how I tell that Dorothy is Dorothy. Now, Gloria had asked to see Dorothy, and I carried Dorothy out of the nest earlier today, and I had to take her out I don't know how many times, and so I finally decided, well, maybe it's time to go back into chicken jail. So that's where poor Dorothy is, back in chicken jail. And I believe you saw Emma, and I believe you saw Mr. Brown, and I'm think you saw silver. I'm really not sure what you saw. It was this morning when I did it. The weather was really nice this morning. I did distant learning with my grandson today and he said to me, this is what he said to me, he says, is that your hair or is that a wig? <laughs> I said, you can't tell? And he goes, no, they look the same to him. Well, the color is the same but the actual, the style is close but it's still different. But for a little guy that didn't know, I guess. I guess they're the same. Es lo mismo. It's the mm -hmm. same. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Now a little Spanish in there, I guess. <laughs> well, I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.